Right, so this is an example of how to use dynamic tags in 12c. So we're going to uh, use a new JSF page and what we have here is the department view and you can see basically this is the definition here and we're just creating an empty page and we wanted to show you that when you go over in your application to the data control palette and you drag for example the departments over here to create a form there are two options one option is you basically have the field basically hard coded here but the other thing you can do is say generate those fields dynamically okay uh, you can still have the buttons click OK and then what you get on the page is not a field for each column or attribute, but rather a single dynamic component here. If you actually look at the code, it might make a bit more sense. What you'll see is that this dynamic component is inside an iterator that runs over the various attributes. So for each attribute, we're going to create a dynamic component. So once you do this, if you actually run your page, Right, so you get your page showing up and you can see that you can even have things like list of value defined if this is defined inside your view object. So this is pretty cool. Um, now let's see why this is even cooler. Right? So we go back into JDeveloper and we'll go into our database and look up the departments table and actually edit this table. And let's add a new column call this column managers okay so now we have a new column in the table how do you actually synchronize your application with this new column if you want to show it you go over to your data model right? click the project and say synchronize with database okay and then it finds there's a new attribute okay and you can tell it to synchronize this attribute and this creates this attribute in your entity object. So now in departments, okay, you can see there's this new manager's attribute. This of course doesn't affect the view object, so what you might want to do is go into the view object and say I need a new attribute from entity and pick the missing attribute, managers. Shut a little to the right. And now you have the new view object. Now you can save everything and rebuild this okay this project you can go to your view controller project and rebuild this one too and let's now run the page again so again this is the same page that we created the untitled 2 we haven't changed anything on the page but because what we're doing here is just iterating over the attributes in the department view we should just see the new attribute showing up And as you can see, we now have a new attribute here, the managers, which we can fill. So without actually having to go over to a page and change it, we pick up the changes in the model layer. Okay? Now think about it, this can save you a lot of work if, for example, this view object is used all over the place. Of course you need to take into account that um, this would happen automatically if you use this approach. So use it wisely. Okay, We don't want to have it everywhere but in some cases this can actually save you time picking up changes from the database and applying them to your pages.